expected to be an exciting season in American basketball this year. Getting you ready at the American Basketball Media Day live from Irving, Texas. We now welcome in the UAB Blazers. We welcome in the reigning men's basketball conference tournament champs to the stage. You guys came off a successful 23-12 and 12 campaign led by fifth-year head coach Andy Kennedy and looking to continue that success with four of five starters returning to Birmingham, including the AAC Defensive Player of the Year, Yaxel Lindeborg, who led the conference in rebounding. Coach, thank you so much for being here. Now that you've been able to process last year's success and bringing that tournament trophy home, what stood out about last season to you? I've been doing this. Don't let this, this young face fool you. I, I've been doing this a long time. Uh, I'm going into my 18th season as a head coach, over 30 years in this business. And I don't think I've ever been around a team that I was more proud of their growth from where we started to where we were able to finish. We were sitting here at four and five. I hate to bring that up, but we were sitting at four and five in mid-December. Uh, we had just lost a couple of games in humiliating fashion. We had uh, a lot more questions than answers. We had no identity, but our guys, to their credit, they continued to work. They continued to stack the work. We started having some success, and then there was a belief that, hey, if we took the right approach, we could be successful. Um, ultimately, that led us to a position where we were coming in to the AAC tournament uh, with a double bye, a lot of momentum, and we were able to do what we needed to do to get back to the NCAA tournament and win three games in three days and, and, and to do things that, as a child, they tell you never to do. Uh, but as an adult, it sure is fun. Walking upstairs with some scissors, uh, we were able to climb the <laughs> ladder and cut down those nets and, and represent the AAC and the NCAA tournament. So I was really proud of our guys. Major growth from Part A to Part B. You know what's really interesting, Coach, is was when we'll talk about we're going to preview you guys for this upcoming season and as we reverse a little bit just talk about you know you mentioned the success of last season how felt that how good that felt cutting down the nets going to the NCAA late tournament it is it, there's nothing like that feeling but the unexpected i think from the general basketball population of you, know, you had went out and recruited a bunch of juco players and i think the general population doesn't really understand how good Juco ball is when you're navigating the transfer portal, when you're looking at identifying pieces to build your roster out. Yeah, you know, we brought in nine new players last year, and for the fans at home, we only have 13 on your team, so nine of our 13 were new, so that was one of the reasons that we started off so slowly. We just didn't know who we, who we were at that time. Um, but we were able to do it in a variety of different ways. We signed two junior college players early uh, on that last year's team, and Chris Coleman and Alejandro Vasquez, we felt good about them and where they were and their ability to come in and have an immediate impact, and they certainly did. And then Yaxel, Yaxel had a unique story. You know, Yaxel would not return our phone calls early in the period. He, uh, he, ended up, he ends up signing with St. John's. Ironically enough, their coach, Mike Anderson, a former UAB coach, uh, and a Birmingham native, uh, Mike got let go at the end of the season, which opened Yax's recruitment back up. Uh, we connected the dots and convinced him to come to Birmingham and certainly glad we were able to do so. What a tremendous season uh, that he had. He was a first-team All-League player, defensive player of the year, the tournament MVP. Broke not only numerous UAB records, and this is a very storied basketball program, as you both know, but also broke the AAC record for most rebounds in a season in our inaugural push. So really proud of his development. I think that everybody understands what his capabilities are, as we were predicted, as you know, to win the league this year, and he was predicted to be the preseason player of the year. So a lot of expectations. We welcome uh, those expectations, and I know Yax is excited to, to expound on what he did in year one. Uh, yeah, so I, I did just want to make sure because I'm reading this correctly because it is completely ridiculous. Um, going back to that Florida Atlantic game, you had 21 rebounds. Why are you trying to make everybody else look bad and like <laughs> everybody doesn't know how to rebound unless they're like you? Can you explain that to me? I don't understand, man. Um, I like this effort to get the ball, you know, because at first when I started off playing, that's all I had was rebounding. You know, we have no other skills. So I, I take pride in trying to, you know, how to rebound everybody else. So, yeah. That's an interesting uh, segue about, like, your game specifically and the fact that, you know, the way you play, whether it's it's in pick and roll action or lob action, you can play on the perimeter. You took some threes, didn't take a lot of threes, but, you know, you went through a process at the end of the season. Player like yourself, coach like Coach Kennedy, 
you're, you want to add on those building blocks to your game. What are some of those things that you did in the offseason? Yeah, I worked uh, really hard on trying to work on my jumper this year, you know, just get the confidence to shoot more in game. That's terrifying to hear, yeah. man, actually. Yeah, yeah, I think, yeah. I think that's scary. I, I, I think Good for I, you guys. I, I, scary I, I, for everybody else. Yeah, I think, I, what did you make last year, like 17, 18, 19? I, th I think he's yeah. you know, 13. Yeah. I, I think he's a guy that's going to make between 40 and 50 this year. I really believe that. He puts in the work. And um, uh, to expound on your earlier question, I, I've been, again, in this game for a long time. He is, a, he is an elite, elite rebounder. He, he's, he's got the size. He's got the ability. He's just got a knack of knowing where the ball is, and he's got a, a motor that never stops, and that's what puts him in a position to, to be one of the best rebounders in all college basketball. And Coach, when you have a player with that much success in the age of the transfer portal, what does it say about what you're looking to build at this university that he is willing to stay and, and come back for another year? Well, that's just a, a tribute to, to Yaks, and, and we didn't, you know, we all of our core, you know, they had opportunities to go to greener pastures, pun intended. Um, there, were, there were a lot of people in his DMs, and uh, we can show you if you'd like to see. But, but you know, f for us, it, it just goes back to here's what we said we were going to do. Here's what we did. He believes in us, as do all of the kids that came back. They believe in the vision, and I think they want to have an opportunity to do something special. And what's more special than trying to go back-to-back -back as a conference champion and then this year get to the NCAA tournament and maybe stay a while? Tony, I wanted to ask you, you know, it's rare these days, you four starters back from a team that went to the NCAA tournaments, regardless of what conference you're in, then you have to do bring in new pieces as well. So you guys had, it looked on TV, we don't know, we're not in the locker room. It looked like you guys played with great chemistry and you bring new faces in. How has the chemistry been for you guys, practice, summer, what's that been like? Uh, this summer, we got work to do, but I feel like we've done it very well. Oh, I feel like we've, we've done it very well. Um, we're we, we're going to be a better defensive team this year, I think, um, and I think we got a chance to be back to where we was. You mentioned defensive team. I know coach sitting right here. I can imagine the mentality in practice for rebounding in practice. How much does he, put, how does he go about coaching them? Oh, he's going he to get on you about the rebound. <laughs> <laughs> he be on me every day. Crash the board. He big on rebounds. You know, last year we had a lot of flaws in our, in our, in our game, so to speak, but we were really good at uh, one of the top ten in the country at offensive rebounding percentage. And we did a great job of getting to the free throw line. Our free throw rate was really, really high. And those are effort area things, things that we think this this team's got a chance to duplicate. Uh, we're built a little bit different, but we've got to do a good job off our glass. So we've got to be much better than we were last year on the defensive end. Yeah, Yaks, you know, do I need, do need to ask you one of those. And it's a little bit of a cliche question. I'm, I'm sorry, but I just, I remember playing the NCAA term for the first time. And it, it it's hard to really say it verbally what that's like. Can you give me any type of feeling knowing that you're playing the NCAA tournament, what, you, what your story's been like? Yeah, um, first few moments when uh, the, the ball got tipped off, I was looking around and it felt like a movie, you know. <laughs> all the movies I watched as a kid, like Thunderstruck, you know, like just, uh, like Mike, all that. Like when he first stepped on the court, he was really nervous. That was me. Like I couldn't, I couldn't ban on what I was looking at, you know. Um, but... I'm just really proud that I made it there and excited to, you know, get back there next year, hopefully. And for anybody that wants to make it out there, they can and just be ready for the moment, I guess. Yeah. All right, well, guys, thank you so much for joining us. And best of luck this season. Some high expectations with the UAB Blazers. Right, thank you, guys. Thanks, guys. And coming up next, we have the women's tournament champs. The Rice Owls will be up next with head coach Lindsey Edmonds. And we'll be right back.